Hi. Um, answering the Unit 5 question, the first one is the crisis management plan. Um, I think if you're a, uh, a sport manager in charge of a group of people, sports team, um, you know, some other type of team like that, I think your primary focus is the sport, the team building, the bonding, um, things like that. And when some type of crisis comes up, you, you may not you know, it's not something you necessarily practice for, or regularly, regularly prepare for. Um, so having a plan in place to, to remind you what, what needs to be done. I mean, you could, you could go two or three years without, you know, any type of issues that's coming up or, you know, and all, all issues can be unique, um, you know, when it comes to some, some type of crisis that, so having a plan in place of, of what's going to be done, who's going to do what, um, you know, even just the, the basics covered, um, you know, especially if, if there's any type of panic, you can look and see, you know, check off the list or whatever, however it may be written um, to make sure it's, it's handled the, the best way it can be. Um, secondly, um, referring to the video, um, your faith and beliefs, describe how you would approach a crisis situation similar to the one. Um, I mean, after watching the video, it seems obvious, and I, I would say I'd do the exact same thing. Um, but I know being in the situation, it doesn't always just come that easy. Um, but with the way the the video kind of built up to it, you know, and the you know the crowd kind of hugging the kid when he came in in the first place, and then the somewhat devastating and unfair news that it was going to be a technical, and it just seemed like. The most appropriate, even obvious thing to do was to just not take the points or miss the free throws. Um, so I, I would certainly say that I would do the same thing or something very similar. But I know it's not. Um, you know, you, you have to be in that situation to to actually know what you would do. So um, and then lastly, how does your response demonstrate your belief in God? Um, I think my, my belief in God is helped me guided me to those decisions but i would also like to believe or i, I guess I, I do believe that you don't have to believe in god to to make a compassionate decision to to help someone or to do the right thing so i, I you know I, I, that question i can certainly relate to it but i can also see it as as being somewhat irrelevant because i i just think doing the right thing is is in situations um is is how you approach that Thank <laughs> you.